What is up guys, Andrew over Cactus here, and before you freak out and click that dislike button and call me an idiot and call me a COD fanboy or something crazy, I just want to say that, the, yeah, I know the title of this video is Armored Kill Sucks, and you know what, I'm going to be honest, that's mainly to get people's attention, and is it view whoring? Kinda, I'm a fucking tiny channel and I want to get people's attention, um, but you know what, Armored Kill, I want to just explain it like this, Armored Kill as itself, the maps the vehicles, all that, I love. I like Armored Kill itself. The reason it's Armored Kill sucks is because the delivery of Armored Kill has been horrendous for premium members. I'm just talking about an Xbox perspective. If you come from the PC or the PS3, you may have no problems at all, and this video will not relate to you. So I understand that. But the for Xbox, it has been absolute shit. First off, we had to have a huge gigabyte download for seemingly no reason, they included the, um, for close quarters, they had a huge gigabyte update, and then when you, that came with close quarters, and when you actually got the maps, it was only like 100 megabytes, that makes sense. This one, they had a huge gigabyte update right before, and then another gigabyte fucking download to get the maps. What the hell is that about? What the fuck did the update come with? All they did was ruin, um... All they did with that update is balance some weapons, good, and ruin the squads for hardcore. And if you play hardcore, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Squad leaders will just, when they leave the squad, the squad leader will not, like, uh, reassign a name, and you'll go squad leaderless. And that's a real huge fucking problem. It is super annoying. Um, and then, so I guess they gave us a one gigabyte update that, obviously, I'm in favor of the updates, but... Everyone was assuming that the, the gigabyte was armored kill on it, but it just wasn't, and we had to download a huge other update. But, you know, that just may be them giving us tons of content, and maybe I'm just complaining for complaining's sake. What really pisses me off is just the de the delivery, and, like, the first day, it was so glitchy. You could not get... It was impossible, like, almost impossible. I played, like, two rounds of tank superiority, and then I that's it. I, I, I played one round of rush, and left because it's such bullshit and I'll go into that later but I could you could barely get into a server and god forbid if you wanted to squat up and then go into a server like you're just you're fucked there's there's nothing you you're, it's not gonna happen um now again m maybe other people had other experiences but for myself and everyone else I was playing with, with on my friends list all my subscribers I was playing with they were all having huge problems about getting into servers and I think that's just bullshit also fucking rush if you have played rush on uh, and there is an ac-130 literally sticking its guns up your butthole and fucking you you will understand that it is the most unfair like it is so i can see if you have okay if you play like my favorite uh server is uh, a mic only hardcore server it's called like stumbling rumble or something i really like that server and I cannot get into it. Like, literally right now, days after the uh, armor kill, I just tried to get into it. It won't let me. It's been... It, it just won't let me for for days. It won't let me get into that server. And it just says, you've lost connection to EA. I just can't connect to, like, the servers I want. Any armored kill thing I try to connect to, most of the time it says, I've lost connection to EA. It says every single... Um, every single server that I look for in server browser has a one bar connection. What the fuck's that about? And I know it's not my connection because I've been playing Mass Effect 3 and Call of Duty and I have a perfect connection in those. So it's clearly not me, it's clearly EA. And, or D EA or DICE. And I think it's just complete bullshit that they haven't, like, fucking tested these things. The premium members we're it, it, it's unfortunate that we're kind of like the guinea pigs. We, fa we pay $50 to be the guinea pigs. Like, we should be the getting the, like, the finished product. It's unfortunate that they, they test things out with us, and then when they give it to the public, it's like the finished product. They go, oh, maybe we should scale back the AC-130, and then when everyone else gets it, they don't have this problem. Like, I don't want to be the guinea pig. I don't want to pay $50. Yeah, I do want to get it early, but I want to get the finished product. I don't want to get, like, where it's glitching up every 10 seconds. That should not be the case. They should... I don't care if I have to wait an extra month. I would rather get Armored Kill in October and it'd be perfect, then get it in September, and it won't even let me get into a server. Like, that is super annoying, especially, like, $50 is a lot of money. It's like buying the game again, and you, you're treated like, it just, it, the, these glitches should not be happening. Um, and again, with the rush thing, that, it is the most annoying and, and, and unthought of thing, that the AC-130 just, it's the most annoying thing because when you're defending, now, 
if you've been playing, I kind of got off, to, was talking about this earlier and got off topic, but if you've been, like I said, if you've been playing with, like, a team that's been well, co like, coordinating with each other, you may have not have this problem, but if you drop into a game by yourself, God forbid you're by yourself, or even with a squad, isn't talking to other squads, you're going to get butt fucked. Because what happens is, the air stuff, like the AC-130, rapes you, like, destroys you, and then you take out your Ingla, or your, uh, Stinger, to try to, like save yourself and then what happens is you take him out shoot down the ac-130 shoot down the jet that's like literally raping you and then what happens is the tank destroyers and the tanks roll right over you because you have nothing to take them down with now and like i'm sure if when they were testing it like the dice employees were testing it there was people using soul flam so they could soul flam both and there was javelins going in the air and on the ground and it was perfect but guess what I'm sorry, but if you're watching this video, you will 100% agree with me. Most, pe most people, a lot of people on Battlefield 3 are fucking idiots. Do you know how many people get in the jet and don't get a single kill and ram into, like, the a tree? So many. And when you're testing it within DICE, those people all know what they're doing. And they all coordinate and they all talk to each other. So, yeah, they're going to test it and they're going to work as a team. And they're going to be like, wow, look, like, it's totally fair. The AC-130 isn't overpowered. But as soon as you bring in, like, a level 5 who like or it's like someone who's playing on their brother's account or someone who's just like terrible at this game and somehow brought premium and it like just can't doesn't know how to do shit hasn't even fucking unlocked the anti-air weapons you you're you can't it's going to be overpowered so they should have accounted for that and then they didn't they're expecting like perfection in, in like team organization and it's just it's just not going to happen um but, like, those are just, I just wanted to complain about that. Like, DICE, please get your shit together. Like, I, I want to play Battlefield 3. I want to play Armored Kill. It's super fun. I like the maps. I, tank superiority is a blast. But, like, I literally, like, DICE, I literally can't play your game. You're not letting me play your game. And I want to. And that's, that's like, the shittiest thing in the world. Like, that's the shittiest thing that can happen to you as a gamer is when you want to do something and the game you buy doesn't let you. Like, because it's glitching up or it's just not, like, something's going wrong. And, like, I would liken this, the only time I was more, like, just kind of, like, taken back by, like, how shitty the servers were, were was when uh, ODST came out and everyone tried to do Firefight and it was just down for, like, 24 hours and, like, no one could, it was, like, almost impossible to get into, get into any servers. So, there's my little rant. Like, feel free to disagree. If you're having, like, a good time on Armored Kill, like, good for you. But I'm just saying, me and a lot of people I've talked to are not. We are getting the short end of the stick, and we're getting, like, butt-fucked right now. And it is sucking. So, you know what? I hope you enjoyed this commentary slash rant. Uh, the gameplay in the background, I haven't even decided what it's going to be yet, so I'm going to fill it in with something random. Uh, please wait, rate, comment, and uh, if you want to see, you know, more Battlefield stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe. And as always, have a good day.